So Christmas time in general, so what's your idea of uh, whether you're home or away um, well, of a, yeah. a perfect Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, they're different. They're like mm. chalk and cheese. You know, if I'm home in Australia, last year for the first time in my entire life, I had Christmas at my place. Never done that before. Always managed to escape. Either my sister did it or my mother did it, my dad, you know, whatever. Um, but last year I thought, because I hadn't been home for four years, so we went right, and we'd moved into a new house. We had a pool, all of that. So we said, yep, Christmas in our place. Coldest, wettest summer in recorded history over in Australia. Christmas Day wasn't too bad, actually. It, uh, I wouldn't say the sun shone. It was overcast, but at least it didn't pour with rain. And people went in the pool. It was quite warm, you know. And we had about 40 or 50 people coming and going. And I said, if you burp, come, you've got to bring food, because I'm not a very good cook. So um, we had lots of food and lots of alcohol, and that was great fun. But um, family aside, and obviously friends at home aside, I love English Christmases. I just love them. I love this kind of weather, bright blue crystal skies, freezing cold. It's just divine. Those idiots that jump in the ocean on Christmas Day, you've got to love them. Apparently there's some in Weymouth. I knew there was some in Brighton. But the ones in Weymouth are going to do it, you know. So really, if you, you know, you're not attached to your appendages, they're going to get really, really, really small in that, in that, those, that ocean. Um, it, it's just great. But uh, the t traditions, the foods, the lights, the, the cosy fires, absolutely everything, which of course you can't do in 35 degrees. You just can't do. Yeah. So they are in incredibly different, but... I love them both for different reasons. Cool.